Well, many Western New Yorkers will have their eyes on the weather this weekend as we prepare to, prepare to say goodbye to 2023. That's especially true for ski country, where folks hoping to hit the slopes are praying for more snow to fall soon. You are looking live at the runs at Holiday Valley right now, where they're far from having full coverage for skiers and snowboarders, but they are open for business. That is not the case, though, across the board for our local ski resorts. Let's take a look at this. This is what the slopes at Kissing Bridge looked like late this morning. You can see just how barren they are, but as our Michael Schwartz found out today, they do plan to reopen tomorrow morning. Okay. Wait. See you tomorrow morning at 9. After months of waiting, Tom and Colin Wall finally were able to pick up their freshly printed season passes to Kissing Bridge. Well, you're always anxious to get started. Um, you know, you hate to pray for cold weather and snow, um, but we're praying for snow, cold weather and snow at this point. A late start to the season here at Kissing Bridge, and this is why last year was too much snow. This year, not enough. You really never know what you're going to get. It's always unpredictable, so we just do our best to work with whatever hand we're dealt. Caitlin Afuso, who works for KB, says she's stoked for Saturday because even the staff get disappointed when conditions delay the season. But now it's opening day. We're very excited to be opening. Of course, we wish um, we had a little bit more natural snow, but we're working with what nature's giving us. So our plan right now is to open uh, Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Until then, though, there's a lot of work to get done. Tonight, the groomers are really going to focus on spreading out the mounds that we have on those hill to make it as safe as possible. But before that base layer is smoothed out, the walls who picked up the winter sport during COVID are already dreaming of Saturday. It's great, and I love coming out here. It's, uh, it's great because it's super close for us. We're in Hamburg, it's a 20-minute ride, so we can come out here for a couple hours if we want to. We can make a whole day out of it, and uh, it's real convenient. And they'll be here quite a while. Now, the Bunny Hill will also be open, and workers will take the chairlifts for a test ride before anyone hops on board. Kissing Bridge says the first chair has a surprise awaiting come Saturday morning. Come on out and, and enjoy it with us. I'm very excited. Super excited. So, Ski you soon. Michael Schwartz, 7 News, Colton.